Oh my god! You, you take it. No, you do it. No, you do it. No, no, you do it. You do it. Go ahead, go ahead. You do it. Should I bring these other rods in? Yeah. How's it going everyone? Today we're out on Lake Ontario and we're going for King Salmon. You can see behind us at the power plant, we're on Lake Ontario. Not a secret spot, everyone goes out here. It's uh, late August, The uh, we're fishing in about 100, 110 feet of water and it's pretty nice out right now. So it's midday, we actually hooked up earlier so I didn't film an intro before then but um, hooked up, you guys will see that clip right after this caught a nice king we're just trolling around right now hoping to get some more we got two uh wire dipsy rods out and then we got two downrigger rods out everything is on uh we got two flasher flies and two dream weaver spin doctors and we've only hooked up on the dipsy diver so far we're gonna keep at it and see what else we can get Hooked up here. Holy smokes. Okay. Take the time. I'm gonna slow way down. Actually, you might want to keep the tension on it. Just go on normal speed. I'm trying to see something. I see him. I know. Can we get on the back? Yeah. Okay, keep, keep driving the last minute here. Get him closer. Oh, we did it. We got a king. Holy smokes. All right, so we just caught a king. We caught him on a Dreamweaver Spin Doctor and a um, Atomic Fly. Nice size king salmon right here. Definitely gonna put him on the grill and eat him. So we were in 160 feet of water, uh, probably about 100, 110 feet down. I'm going like two and a half miles an hour. So beautiful Lake Ontario King. This is what we've been trying to come out here for. This is our third time trying to do this. And we finally got him. Take it, take it. Okay, just hold it like that. Okay, now, when you get time, reel it in. Let, let the drag stay. It's good drag. Okay, go for huh? one. Is this on? Yeah. That slow down there. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that was He's fighting a fish. How much line you got out? That's okay. You can you can tighten it a little bit. Three hundred. What are you think? So. We're a few minutes into reeling this fish in. My dad's got it on. He's been reeling for about five minutes now. 
still going, hoping to get this fish. Should be a big king. I'm just in charge of steering the boat right now. We're heading due north. 160 feet. He's running. He's right there. What? He's right up there. A little bit. Gotta get the net. Oh. oh, oh, he's going out the cable. Oh no! Here he goes. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. Oh my god. You, you take it. No, you do it. No, you do it. Should I bring these other rods in? Yeah. Okay. Let me get over it. Let me get over it. You sure you want to do it? I want you to do it, kind of. I'm still at 212. I haven't been able to move it, maybe then. Just keep the boat moving. I think the tension helps. Let me keep them like in the back. Yep. That's your goal. It's all up under. Yeah. I'm gonna use this net. He's still got some fight. He's big. Oh. Oh. Did he miss? Nope, he got off. off. He got Did off he over there. It's impossible, we need a bigger net. We need a bigger net. Okay, so we're packing up now. So you guys saw the video, we caught uh, two fish, or no, we caught one fish. We had two others on though. Both of them got off. So the one I caught, I don't know how much it weighs, but it was 28 and a half inches. I'm gonna say 10 to 15 pounds. The other two fish were a different kind of size. They were like maybe 20, 25 pounds. And our net is just not even close to big enough. So we're heading out now. And I think on the way home, we're gonna stop and get a bigger net just for next time because we had a lot of fun today all three of the um fish we hooked up with were on dipsies and dreamweaver spin doctors just the eight inch size and green color so we're heading out i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know we only got one fish but still super fun to be out here i hope you guys enjoy watching the fights too both of the bigger fish the fights were over 15 minutes each so i'll show a little clips of that because 15 minutes might be a bit much to watch okay so we're gonna weigh this fish in now i have a glove on my hand because i cut my finger earlier i don't want to contaminate anything so I'm about to fillet it but so here's the fish I just found the scale it actually was in the boat but I just didn't know where it was so you can see it right there it's like 12 pounds I would say so the other two we had on were easily 25 pounds I would say 20 to 25 pounds this is no doubt a good sized fish but the other ones we had on were much bigger so next time we go we're gonna have a much bigger net so I'm going to go ahead and fillet this because I decided I'm going to do a catch and cook video because we were going to eat this fish anyway and I love grilling salmon. So I'm going to show you guys how I'd go through uh, cutting up the salmon. And keep in mind, I'm not a uh, master fillet or anything. So we're just going to do our best here. So usually I do. This is a sharp fillet knife. I just sharpened it. You like to cut behind the uh, gill plate here. This is our gill plate. It's super hard. You can see too. These salmon, they have real good sized teeth. I don't know if you can see them in there, but in their jaw, it's hard. That's why these the hooks didn't really bite in too good. And it's like we lost the other two because the big, bigger fish too have harder jaws. But um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut in behind the gill plate here. 
and kind of get under the scales. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this around. I'm gonna cut right down the uh, spine here. So here's the spine. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna go right down his spine. You can feel the uh, rib cage, my knife's hitting it. Don't wanna go through that. This knife's also not super big, which doesn't help me a lot, but you're gonna hit a point down here where the knife's just gonna go through. Like right there, see that? That's the end of the uh, spinal cord, or the end of the rib cage. So now you can go cut down. Come all the way out through the tail. So I got it cut open here. You're gonna to wanna to run the knife along the rib cage down here. So I'm going along the rib cage, try to not cut your meat that you already pulled out. Get it messed up a little bit. It's a process, you go slow. And you're gonna to have to cut through a few bones. The um there's the the pin bones you'll call them, like Y bones that go through here. You just gotta cut through those. And then you'll pull them out before you eat them. I'm trying to keep as much meat on here as I can. And there's people that do this incredibly fast. If you want to watch a good video, the uh, consummate sportsman has a good video called the world's fastest fillet job or something. He fillets a salmon. He could. It looks like I'd be doing this in like hyperspeed or something if he, the guy did it. Some guy at a boat yard or something. But that that's a good video to watch if you want to see a good fillet job. This is just how I'm doing it. I'm your your average Joe when it comes to this. Okay, there you go. That is one half of the salmon right there. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this into a tail section and then some mid sections. And right here, there's still some bones. So before we uh, eat it, we'll have to take those out. But otherwise, this is good. We'll just clean the blood off and we'll be good to go. But here's the other filet I got. So I got two nice filets. I messed up a little bit, so I have an extra piece of meat here. But I'm going to leave the skin on like this because the next part of this video is I'm going to show you guys how I like to grill this fish because I love, love grilled salmon and I like it when the skin's on. So we're going to keep the skin on and then stay tuned a little bit longer. I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite recipes for grilling salmon. Here's the uh, salmon. I got it marinating here. This is just a mixture of brown sugar and soy sauce. I put some brown sugar on the fillets and then I a drizzled soy sauce over it. It's been sitting here for about three hours or so in the fridge, and every uh, 30 minutes to an hour or so, I've been uh, spooning some of this mixture on and just putting it right on there. So pretty soon I'm gonna put this on the grill and I'll show you guys that. I'm going to put it skin side up first, and then I'm going to flip it so the skin is um, on the grill grates, and then I'm going to take it off and I'll show you guys how it turns out. I got the grill heated up here on medium heat. I'm just gonna spray it off with some pan type cooking spray. I just don't want the fish to stick on there. You wanna spray this at an angle too so you don't uh, burn yourself. Okay, so that's sufficiently sprayed down. And like I said, I'm gonna put the meat side down onto the grill. Got two nice fillets here from two days ago. I'm just gonna put it like that. I'm going to let this sit here for maybe three to five minutes and then we're going to go ahead and flip it over and when we take it off the grill you'll see the skin will just stay right in the grill and we'll have a nice piece of meat to eat. You can see after flipping it that's what the salmon looks like now. I got some nice grill marks and it'll be done very soon. This is a pretty thin piece and the, the tail section always tastes really good so this will be done real soon. So now you can see here's the salmon. Got two pieces here. 
And there's the skin left on the grill. I just like to leave on the grill because I don't have to pick through it or anything, but I'll just pull that off once it cools down. There's the salmon. It's gonna taste amazing. All right, so I just finished up that salmon. That tasted awesome. Definitely a really good recipe. And I actually got that from, again, the consummate sportsman. He kind of inspired me to start uh, King Salmon Fishing. Definitely check out his YouTube channel. He has a really good, more in-depth recipe than I did, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit how I cooked it. Let me add some rice and corn with it. I'll have a little picture of the meal up over here. But um, I hope you guys enjoy the video too. Like I said, we only got one fish. Other two, we definitely needed a bigger net. But also I wanted to show those parts where I only get the one fish because that's the reality of fishing. When you go out, you don't always slam them. You don't always get every single fish. We went out, I mean, we're out for two or three hours in the morning, got nothing. We went another time, we got nothing. So this is a pretty good trip. And But the other reality is too, you have to wake up pretty early in the morning, you have to do a lot of work. So I just want to show some of that. And I want to start showing more of that in my videos to like the behind the scenes a little bit, if you will, of fishing. It's a lot, a lot of work to start getting into this and rigging, like spent hours rigging, getting everything ready to go, making food, packing, just to, just to go out there for a few hours and hopefully get some salmon. But it's so worth it because when those kings hook up on the dipsies and start running, it's like nothing else. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to browse my channel and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications and take care and have a great day.